Oh my god. There's this, I think it's a Jim Leco or whatever machine. I, I tried it the other night. It's like a one arm row. I want to try that at some point. It's like a mid row, but it's like right. pronated. Right. So like, it's pretty good. You got like a thousand different back pieces here. You got like 4,000 <laughs> It's amazing. Yeah, though. it's hard to narrow it down, but uh, yeah, man, we could do whatever. We do it. More back, more hamstring, either or. We could do like a, a deadlift yeah. and then two kind of kinds of curls to wrap it up. So yeah, we'll just go crazy on the back to, to begin. Like in terms of exercise selection, like I'm very versatile. How many weeks out are you now? I'm seven weeks out. So you're getting like yeah. into that hard to yeah. hold that period, but yeah. yeah. For me, it's just more so about like just the intensity. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't really matter what I do, as long as like the intensity is there, there's some force reps, yeah. go to a failure. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I'm somebody that like, I can engage the muscle pretty easy. Right. I mean, here pretty much every piece is, is high quality. There's no real shit. Equipment, yeah, so yeah. we'll get into it. I, I need to take pre workout. I'm training a little bit later than usual. I'm used to having that caffeine right when I wake up in the morning, but uh, since Quinta wanted to get two meals, I got two meals in myself as well. So hopefully, that results in the ultimate pump. But we'll see, we'll see how my strength is, we'll see how it goes. Let's do it. I don't do too many reps. I'm just getting a good squeeze, getting a good feel, and I'm saving all my energy for the working sets. And you only do like a few working sets, right? Yeah, so I might do like one or two working sets. It just depends on like how hard it is or how I feel after it, but I like to do at least two and at least one with a big drop. Yeah, that's what I shifted over to doing because I was doing like three, four working mm -hmm. sets and you're just shot by the second exercise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel fucked. Mm -hmm. This is my favorite back machine. I'm so glad he's, he decided to start with this. I love the ro rotating. It feels so good. Lower lats. Moi bien. We'll do four exercises for back. We go really hard on these four and then we move on. So deadlifts and then two curls. Talking and braiding behind the camera. I don't like the angle. Film <laughs> again. You only get one opportunity to get good angle. Pump fades very fast. So it feels like every time we go to shoot a video, it's like you only get this one chance. You're not gonna be this shredded tomorrow or I look this good tomorrow. So you gotta you gotta get it on the first shot. These guys are ready at three plates. more sets on your first exercise when you're getting warm? I just keep working until I find something comfortable. So that last one I did like three reps because obviously it's getting a little heavier. Just saving more in the tank for the final one. So yeah, it might be like four quick warm up sets, five sometimes before I find a, a good weight and then I go and I work. So what are you aiming for in your top sets like for reps wise? Like yeah. it's, here's the thing, it's kind of weird because we're so used to the concept of like aiming for a certain number and especially when you're doing something unilateral, you want to make sure it's even on both sides. But I don't even, like I just go to failure. And what we're going to do, we're going to do force reps. So let's say when I start failing, you're going to come in, you're going to help push me so I could get that full range of motion. All right, so we're going to do that, get as many reps as I can, quick breather, and then finish it off on the other side. I'll do the same for you.
Your left rear delt looks so fucked there. There's like tissue under the skin pulling off like the bone. A little bit ambiguous with the three plates. I was like getting through it. I'm like, my head's like bobbing. My eyes are like rolling to the back of my head trying to get through the set. Shit burns. If you think about how many reps you get close to failure, each set I'm starting like basically where I'm at at the end of my set. Those last five reps of my normal set is where I'm starting at each time I drop. And I'm like dying trying to get extra reps. And then he's forcing an extra three on top of that or five on top of that. It just feels ridiculous. So yeah, I'll need some help when I fail or as I start failing just to help me get to the bottom of the rep. So he just said he's trying to figure out if he's gonna do five psychotic shit. Yeah, so I'm gonna go to a complete failure, get some force reps, and then we'll do a drop. So again, I don't know how this feels. I warmed up a three. You know, take off one plate at a time, I'll see how it feels. Five plate on a single arm. It's a Nautilus mission. You guys don't understand, these are heavy in general. same time <laughs> while we're training that's our motivation <laughs> between each set do you just take like a second to reset and then like maybe a second readjust your fingers hands you know for me my grip was fucking up so i just kind of let i don't know if you saw my fingers i was just so uh, i don't know what this is called but i was doing this and it helped and i started again jazz hands mid-set <laughs> When you have somebody that could just help push you and help give you those those force reps, like right now I'm crazy about force reps. Because it's something that you can only do on your own with biceps. It just adds to your workout. You're able to reach somewhere that you can't reach on your own. So yeah, you definitely need a good workout partner. So is this more like mid-upper? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You could do one feel set, just feel how it feels. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. funny because I've actually never done this one. I like the M torture over there. And I normally do that for, I have two back days. I do that for one of my back days, but I don't want to use it for both. I was actually working with a client. I wanted him to use the machine there and it was occupied. So I tried this out just to see if it was good enough. And I love it. So you get a full stretch here. Like I, my lat, feels alive and functioning here. Then pull, squeeze, release, pull, squeeze. So I get a full stretch, I stretch all the way in here, and then I rotate, I readjust my alignment, and pull all the way up. So you keep your hand up here? Yeah, one hand there, and then one hand like sort of right close to the outside. Nice, see that stretch in the lat? And then as you pull, you come up slightly? Yes, exactly. Oh. Try bending over a bit more. Over a bit more? Yeah, good. There, better. Yep. 
table if you want to drive. Come on, get a few more. Two more. Two more. Two more. Come on. Drive. As far as competing? Why do you train so hard? Like, what are you working for? I mean, a lot of it right now is just we're creating content and stuff, but I mean, I just love, like I have a passion for training, right? I've always needed something that kind of gives me direction and just seeing like progress with whether it's numbers or physique or whatever, just helps with that kind of direction and gives me, it, it keeps my mental state good, you know? So I can't live without it. So whenever I'm in the gym, it's, it's not necessarily like I need to hit this number or, or reach this show or whatever it is, it's just, Helping me get through the day or helping me get, you know, so it makes, it makes perfect sense <laughs> There reaches a point in the set where like everything just kind of goes to shit. You can't count and I was like, okay I feel pain yeah. and then I, what, what rep are you at? Pain. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're just good. Keep going. Just keep going. It's funny because the first side that you do I mean, it's hard, but it's like it feels good. I breathe a little and I go for this side. It feels like two times as hard So film this Film the number of plates, then cut to a close-up shot of me doing it as if I'm doing that weight. Yeah. This guy we know named Ramon. Search him up. You're welcome to Rome is his Instagram. We'll put it. The guy is a monster, but he blends every single one of his meals. It's funny because when he was natural, nobody believed him. Yeah, I know. Like, cause he had that hard, dense muscle. When he was natural, he's good, man. He's gonna be very good when he competes. That was the first time I've ever seen a guy weighing in at the scale, so he takes his shorts off. No homo, nothing wrong with it, but no homo. And he goes like this, and just his hamstrings are freaking ridiculous. That's mm. the first time I ever saw that. I was like, before that show, he never showed his legs. Like, there was no pictures of his legs. Nobody thought he had legs. Yo, Nick Walker looks fucking crazy. Looks Holy so fuck. Crazy. He looks insane. If you haven't seen Nick Walker, I know we're talking about all bodybuilders that Arnold's going on right now. The guy is a mutant. Yeah. Like, his nickname is The Mutant, and I don't think there's any better nickname for him. The guy's a freak. So on my channel, somebody asked me, because I do, uh, I guess, quite a bit of unilateral movements for back. It's like, do you do it because you have was it because I have an imbalance? And I'm like, I thought it was an interesting question. Like they thought something was wrong and that's why I do unilateral. I'm like, well, no, like, with unilateral, you could get a better stretch. You know, it's just a way more specific. You target that area more. Whereas if you have a side that's stronger, you're doing like a bent over row or even a bench press, your stronger side is always gonna do a little bit more of the work. So to kind of even it out, you go unilateral and you develop more strength, more stability in those respective muscles. So uh, I don't do them because because of an imbalance, I do it to prevent imbalance and to promote more symmetry. When I lean too far back, I feel like I get too much like trap or upper activation. So I try and keep it like right in the mid back. Just stay in there and hard squeeze, hard squeeze. Are you rotating at all with your grip or no? I think I just kept it neutral. With this machine in particular too, the more you lean back, the easier it gets because it is on an arc. So for this last set, we'll do a drop. So I'll, I'll aim for at least at least more than 15 reps for the first one. Then we drop, do whatever I can on the lighter ones. I'll probably go down just to two, two and then stop. You're aiming for like 15 with the force reps? Even if I can get it without it, yeah, then we do the force reps after. Then drop. Yeah, because it's, it's heavy, it doesn't feel easy. So telling myself 15 just... It doesn't make me happy, but it's at least like the baseline of the lowest I can hit and then maybe four strokes. Did you 
you guys already trained? Yeah. Will, you were here, eh? What were you doing? Just reading and stuff. Reading? What are you reading? A few different, like, mindset books and shit. Why? What's wrong with your mindset now? It's all fucked up. I'm on something's all fucked up in the head. <laughs> the book I'm reading right now is learning how to take deloads and stuff. That's the only books that I read now is because I just train way too much. It's hard to accept what a deload is. It's yeah. like, well, I feel fine. I'm just gonna keep pushing. I think it's all relative. Some people just don't train hard enough. Yeah. And they're like, okay guys, I'm having a deload. It's like, well, you don't need a fucking deload. Yeah. Your whole life is a deload. You, know? <laughs> Some you, you set yourself pretty far back on the bench, eh? And like keep yeah. fairly forward on it. Sometimes when I find if my, my legs are too bent and stuff, my lats just take over if I'm trying to hit my mid back or just targeting where areas I shouldn't be. Fuck, we're getting close to the show. And my training isn't getting any I'm not get, going any easier on myself, you know, so. What's crazy is that we're doing like two working sets per exercise, but it feels like so intense because you're just working to absolute failure on those two sets. It feels fucking crazy. It's good. I, I like training like this. There's a couple different ways that I train, but this is definitely one of my favorites. It's, it takes a lot out of you. Switch up, never been a mix up. Blessings in my hand. I don't want to miss up. Everybody eat. I be on your team. Lions to grow weak. Nothing's missing God, I lay in surrender What I'm trying to prove by having an answer Nothing I can do, you love is forever I'm inside your love and love with the pressure That's why I don't need no two, two, threes Yeah, you watching me Shadow and your wings and I've been hiding underneath I can see you lighting my feet up I ain't gonna stop living cause you died for my freedom You ain't worried about nothing So I won't worry about nothing The funny thing is when I failed there, it's because my glute felt weird. I'm like, okay, I gotta stop. So you said deadlift? I'm thinking now. You wanna go off the ground? We can do we can do step legs. I like barbell because it's just you have the plat you have the thing where you can just put the weight down in front of you. A dumbbell is it's good too, it's just fucking annoying wrapping yourself in. So I dropped my weight a bit. I was able to do it, but I wasn't stimulating the hamstrings enough. I was feeling it more. Like I, I finished the set, my hamstrings were a little good, but uh, my back felt pretty pumped. So I'm like, you know what, let me go down a little bit. And I really try and focus on keeping those hamstrings engaged. Just give me my last one here. And I'm gonna move on to some curls. I'm not sure if Tristan's gonna be up for that, but uh, again, this is a pretty crazy workout. We did a full workout and I'm doing hamstrings too, so it just, it almost doesn't make sense. It's probably over, it's, uh, this is probably over training. Yeah. You know, so I don't, I just try and go all out, get everything out of the way, and uh, the more weight I lose, the more high days I get, right? So, I mean, I'm not doing this to be rewarded with more food. I like seeing progress, and this kind of training is what gets me more progress, I think. But uh, at the same time, it is, I get really beat up in the process. Very beat up. After I'm done competing for this season, I'll probably need to take like three, four weeks off and just, be a civilian for a bit, you know, but. 270 pounds of lean muscle civilian. Straight into working sets, two working sets. It's been a long ass workout. We're just finishing up with some hamstrings, some lying leg curls, some seated leg curls. We'll just be squeezing this, flushing a lot of blood into our hamstrings. So I trained quads the other day, and it must have been a good workout. So every time I reach the bottom and my legs are pushed against here, it kills. No, it's just like the, the muscle is just so sore. So yeah, yeah. it's just, uh, it. I was just gonna do two sets, but the second one, felt really good so i'm like you know what let me get a last one in this literally feels like death if you notice all of our videos just taper off at the end because we're just so dead at the end of our workouts <laughs> so we never outro our videos all we do is just cut it black screen end of the video because we're literally just dead at the end of the month <laughs> 23 23 yeah 23 i got shooters and they with me and they never miss 23 23 yeah 23 i got shooters and they with me and they never miss 23 That's it. We're good. <laughs>
<laughs> Cut the video, end the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to Quentin. He's gonna fucking kill it at his show in seven weeks. Romania Muscle Fest. You know he's gonna get to the Olympia. So go follow all this shit. Taking my time, day by day, I pray to God on a daily. I found a way because I was lost, now I lead the team like I'm Brady. You see the squad, you know who we are, we pull up this perfect attendance. We're doing well, we never take L's, but I can see y'all like pretending. 23. 23, yeah, 23 I got shooters and they with me and they never miss 23, 23, yeah, 23 I got shooters and they with me and they never miss 23, 23, yeah, 23 I got shooters and they with me and they never miss 23, 23, yeah, 23 I got shooters and they with me and they never miss